Welcome to ProStructure's Concrete Modeling Learning Path. We will now focus on placing the walls. But first, let us clean up the display a bit by opening display classes and turning off beams, pad footings, and strip footings. We will need to change ACS location to the bottom of walls. First, make sure you have ProStructure snaps turned on, go to Drawing Aids, and select Move ACS. Now move the ACS to the third level guide from the bottom. After that, turn on the ACS playing snap. We will start with seven straight walls. Select the wall slash panel tool and set the height of the wall to 11 feet and thickness to 10 inches and offset position to back. Now, in the assignment tab, set the options as follows. Display class, 12 cast in place panel, area class 4 level 3 and description cast in place panel. Go back to Dimensions tab and start placing the wall by two points. Switch to Top View for ease of placement and start placing the wall by column corners. With Prostructure Snaps, you can easily switch the snap point with arrow keys on your keyboard. After the first wall, proceed with the placement of the remaining six walls. After all the straight panels are modeled, we can place the curved walls. Turn on the construction lines level and switch the display to wireframe. Here you can see blue guidelines for the curved walls as well as the path lines for them. Now we need to change the line string into a complex shape with Create Complex Shape tool. With this done, go to the search bar and look for Extrude Along Tool in the search bar. First click on the arc line, then on the complex shape. Repeat the process for the second curved wall as well. Now go back to the previous display style and turn off the construction lines. We need to tell ProStructures that these two curved walls are indeed ProConcrete elements, so we'll be able to place the rebar in them. Use the Concrete Solid Overlay tool and click on the first curved wall. Right click to accept. Now we're able to input properties of this wall. In the Data tab, set the name to Concrete Curved Wall. In the Assignment tab, set the Display class to 12, Cast in Place Panel, Area class to 3 Level 4, and the Description to Cast in Place Panel. 
Close the dialog and repeat the process for the other curved wall. You can turn on the display classes we've turned off in the beginning, and your structure should look something like this. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.